So, it's Independence Day here in the US, and in honor of that, I've got my Stars and Stripes bandana, I've got my Lone Star 3030, and we're going for a whitetail hunt here in the Hunter Classic. I figured probably the most commonly hunted species in the US is whitetail, so figured that'd be the best thing. And it's a pretty decent animal for the 3030 to take down. I also do have the Blaze Orange Pulsar, don't know if I'm going to use it. And I brought a 357 just for Bobcat, but the plan is pretty much to focus on whitetail. I think that might actually be the first buck I heard coming in. There's two here. Usually when I do videos like this, ooh, that's a good one. Usually when I do videos like this, mainly bucks I'll take with a gun and then does I'll take with a bow. But because I heard another buck, I want to use the bow for that one so we don't spook him. Uh, those of you that don't play classic, maybe don't know, there's no zones in this game. Uh, so there's nothing for animals to return to if you do spook them. So it's kind of a big deal to actually hunt with a bow and not spook anything. But that's a good start. And I know I have to have a trophy shot wearing this bandana at some point. And there's not a guarantee we're going to do better than that. So we'll get something set up here. And I think, just in the interest of saving time, that's pretty dang good. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I think it was last year I was going to do like basically this same idea but I couldn't find the Stars and Stripes bandana in the store because it's actually under I think it's face wear instead of hats because the other bandanas are in hats so if you're curious uh, that's where that is other buck not as big okay got a dang good spawn well then we'll use the bow on this guy too Uh, oh yeah, I forgot they added that feature where you don't have to get the arrow out of the quiver every time. I thought there was a bug or something there, but we're good. So that's two bucks down in the first 300 meters, and there's another one out in the field. Did I... Okay, let's actually knock that so I don't have to worry about it next time. And this guy is just a little 116. He's literally right there. Now I'll step out. And he's not that big, but we'll use the 30-30 for this one. Just perfect. Honestly, the 30-30 in this game is not great. Um, I don't think we're going to drop every single deer, but eh, close range, it works fine. Man, this used to be a spot that I could sit and I would do my homework just like sitting in the stand all the time and I'd usually get like a couple of bucks, random bull elk would come through here, uh, but I think it's been ever since the introduction of bobcats, they just don't seem to show up here anymore. I can't see that doe when I get out of the tree stand. But um, yeah, this might be the last time that I actually bother to fast travel here because it just seems like as soon as I do, I get like one doe and that's it. I see you looking at me. That'll work. But yeah. Strongly considering just taking the tree stand and tent down now so I don't forget that this always happens and then just fast travel here next time. Eh, I'm got to carry it around then. I guess I'll leave it. I actually kind of want to test something while I can see it because when I was trying to do... There was a competition when classic became free and you had to get a lynx i think heart shot with a bow and the first attempt i tried to do i forgot my e-collar i think i left it on another map so i couldn't just go back and get it so i tried the jackrabbit collar and i had lynx actually trotting in so usually bobcat and lynx come in really really slow to the e-collar so i'm just gonna while i can actually see what's happening try to find a spot where i can sort of observe a little bit and just hit this thing a bunch of times and see if it'll come in all right, well, that's not what was supposed to happen. Sure. I think that's just a female. It doesn't look very big. But, um, I don't see any bobcat coming in, so that works, too. Kind of out of nowhere. Eh, all right. That's actually a pretty good-sized female. 43's... One of the bigger females I've got. Yeah, yeah, I did a mission. Good. I don't know which one it was. 
Ooh, that's not a bad elk. No back tines, but for just a random bugle, I didn't really expect him to be anything. Does actually look like he's alone, so that kind of sucks, but I'm going to have to take him with a bow. I don't have anything else that's ethical, but that's good to see. I'm really good at only catching one lung with these, so let's try not to do that. Man, they, with this feature, they made the Pulsar far and away the best bow in the game. Well, I say that, but the traditional bows are now so silent with a different kind of thing they've added that you could make that argument. But the one issue with the Pulsar always has been how long it took to actually knock an arrow, but that little feature that kind of negates that, it makes it so much better. But anyway... Had to take a trophy shot of a 300 oak wearing that. Like I said, uh, not a lot, not a lot of opportunities for that. I really don't know how you got here, but um, yeah, I was gonna call in a different doe, just literally so I could reload my quiver. If I were to run into a pa uh, pack, a herd of five elk, uh, it would be nice to have a full quiver in case I can get away with getting a couple of shots off. So. That's nice, that sped that up quite a lot. I was calling it a doe from like 150 meters. Jeez. This isn't really going how it was supposed to. I was planning on trying to get a long range shot, but this guy's just snuck in kind of around and above me. Eh, little guy. Two for two on close range shop shots with this thing, but that's why I wanted to shoot a little longer because Wanted to see what it would do. I kind of expect single lung, but I don't really know how far they'll run with that. So, I just fast traveled, and this is another area that used to be amazing for whitetail. And now, I get like, maybe one, two if I'm really lucky up here, and it's mainly bobcat and coyotes. So, I did get a coyote house since I fast traveled. So, without a few calls, I'm going to get up in this tower, and I think it's a pack. There's a lot of tracks around here, so... Want to hopefully be able to get a chance to spot everything. Oh, that's... That's going to be a good one. That's Max. I'm not even going to let him... Think about spooking. Could have been others, but... I haven't had a really solid coyote in a long time, and... Max score estimate and max weight estimate? Fingers crossed that could be something good. Ah, it's low end. Yeah. <laughs> 54 to 60, he scored 54.9, that about figures, but, well, pretty much blew everything out of this area now. I gotta think I have to take that out. There's a buck that I'm following, and it's fairly fresh tracks now. I just don't want her spooking towards it. Alright, nice. There's one up here somewhere, too. I haven't called, so we should be okay for that to just kind of do its thing and feed away, but this box is oh, that's probably him there, actually. 75 to 90, so. Yeah, he's not bad. High rack. See if we can just pop him there. Okay. You know what? We'll try to get prone. I guess I'm probably not very high skill level with the normal 30-30, because they should be the same, but that was... Very wobbly. I think I can maybe get on this rock. I didn't see what that estimate said. 165 to 190 or something like that. It's got to be actually a decent sized buck. And of course I can't actually use that. So I could kind of use this trick actually. You're a lot more stable when you're walking forward. I accidentally spine shot him. All right. Claim this doe before I go anywhere. And we'll go and finish him off. Yeah, 165 to 190 on that guy. Sorry, didn't mean to spine shot you. I swear I knew it wasn't Call of the Wild. Yeah, 167, but I think we're probably going to wrap it up with that. Getting pretty late. But that wasn't bad. Pretty much started and ended with pretty solid bucks. Got to use the 3030 on one of them, which I wanted because I want a trophy shot of this, so I'm gonna take a moment to try to 
lined up as best as I can. Honestly, <laughs> that's one of my favorite trophy shots. Got the Lone Star 3030. I'll zoom in here just real quick. You can kind of see the eagle there. Obviously, a uh, bit of a freedom symbol, so I think that fits in pretty well, but I might make that like a wallpaper or something for the PC. I quite like it. Anyway, that is going to do it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.